Hello and welcome back to this step-by-step -step tutorial. Today we are going to build a Telegram bot that can chat with users and generate DALL-E 3 images on demand. We will do the whole project in Anitan, a source available workflow automation tool, and use the new Langchain nodes. You will find the link to the template for this tutorial in the description below the video. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create a similar bot without any coding. Here's how the Telegram bot will work. When a user sends a start command, the bot greets the person. It can also react to other bot commands without explicit instructions. There is also a Langchain tool for creating DALL-E 3 images. The bot only uses this tool when asked to draw something. Impressive, isn't it? You will need a couple of additional things to complete this tutorial. A token for a Telegram bot, an OpenAI API key. We will explain how to create these in just a few seconds. So let's get started. Before we dive into creating our Telegram bot, the first thing you'll need to do is sign up for an Anacan account. You have two options here. Opt for the Anacan cloud service, which allows you to get started quickly with a free trial and no setup required. Or you can choose to self-host it. By self-hosting, you'll have to go through a setup process, but it's free to use forever and offers complete privacy for your workflows. With your account ready, it's time to open a workflow template. Anacan has a variety of pre-made workflows to get you started. Just log into your account, click on the templates button, browse through the template gallery, and pick one that aligns with what you want to achieve. These templates are great time savers and can be easily tailored to fit your needs. If you don't find what you are looking for, you can always build your own workflow from scratch. Once you've found the perfect template, click on the Use This Workflow button and configure credentials for the nodes with red outline. Now as you created your Anacan account, let's create a Telegram bot from scratch together. Add a new Telegram trigger and select message as the trigger event. If you don't have a bot yet, check out the link to the blog article with step-by-step -step instructions. Once you've created a new bot in Botfather and received the access token, paste it into the credentials window and click save. Now drag the Langchain agent node onto the canvas. Connect a new chat model to the AI agent. Create new credentials on the settings screen. You will need to add a secret key from your OpenAI account. You can then adjust some additional model parameters via the node options. Exit the OpenAI chat model settings screen and navigate to the AI agent settings page. Tweak the text input field so that it only receives a text message from the Telegram bot user. Configure the system message. We have prepared a custom prompt so that the bot knows the username, responds in the HTML format according to the Telegram bot API rules, and knows how to react to the bot commands that are text messages starting with the slash symbol. Finally, add a new Telegram node so that our bot can send back the replies. In the settings window, configure the chat ID and text fields as described. Also add a parse mode option. You can also switch off the Anikan attribution. Great, now let's test the bot. At the moment, the bot doesn't remember anything about the past messages. Let's add a window buffer memory. This is the easiest way to save the message history. Simply pick a new node and adjust the number of messages. Don't forget to edit the session key name. Let's add a Telegram user ID so that the bot can have separate conversations with different users. Let's try this out and ask something related to the previous conversation with the bot. Before we go any further, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for all future videos. We release new content regularly, so stay tuned. Right now, our bot can chat, and it remembers the last 10 interactions with the user. It's time to give a bot an extra tool, so that it can also generate DALL-E 3 images. 
This tool will use additional Anycan nodes to request an image. The AI agent will decide when to use this tool, so we won't program any additional logic. Now, let's add a new custom Anycan workflow node. Edit the name of the tool and provide a description of when it should be used. This information will be added to the GPT-4 prompt. Langchain nodes will take care of this, so you can focus on your main task and not on the technical details. Also, specify a workflow ID in the settings window. In this tutorial, we create the entire bot in a single Anycan workflow, but you can also move this tool to a separate workflow. Finally, configure the workflow values and add a new chat ID variable with the user's telegram ID. This value is needed for sending back the image. Now, let's take a look at the lower part of the screen. Add a new trigger to the canvas and select when called by another workflow. When the bot needs to use a tool, it will trigger the same workflow again, but only the part relevant to image generation. Add a new HTTP request node. At the moment, Anycan doesn't have a dedicated DALI 3 node, so we will create a custom connection. To save our time, let's copy-paste a curl example for DALI 3 from the OpenAI documentation. Click the Import Curl button in Anycan, paste the text example, and click Import. Let's tweak the node settings a little. Switch off the Send Headers toggle, and select the OpenAI credential in the Authentication section. Scroll down to the send body part and change the value. We need to add an expression containing the user request instead. Also, increase the timeout value in case it takes more time for DALI 3 to create an image. Leave the other settings unchanged and close the window. Next, let's add a new Telegram node. You can copy-paste the existing one. Select a send photo operation and provide both the chat ID and a URL from the DALI 3 output. This URL will point to a new image that has just been created. Finally, add a set node and configure the response that will be sent back to the AI agent. Since we explicitly specify the Telegram user ID and send the image right away, we minimize the risk of the AI agent confusing the Telegram IDs or the image URLs. One last hint. Sometimes even the best large language models hallucinate and do not respond with the correctly formatted text. We can catch this moment and send the text without formatting. Let's open the main Telegram node connected to the agent. Click on the gear icon and select Continue using Error Output in the On Error drop-down list. Now, we add another Telegram node, connect it to the new Error Output, and specify the chat ID as before. In the text field, however, we will encode special HTML characters so that Telegram treats such messages as plain text. This trick helps the bot to remain robust in some unexpected cases. Now, let's activate the workflow and test the bot. Congratulations! You've successfully created an AI-powered Telegram bot with Anycan and Langchain nodes. Whenever a user interacts with the bot, it responds to both user messages and Telegram commands. In addition, this bot can generate and send DALI 3 images. The best part is that we haven't programmed anything at all. The decision, when to send what, is made by the GPT-4 model. This is just one workflow example, but you can create many other use cases for Telegram and AI with Langchain. Improve the bot even further with AnInkAn. Give it more tools, fine tune the workflow logic, integrate the bot with your business systems, be sure to check out the links in the description below. See you next time.